Hello and welcome to the news update on Enterprise Television. I am Henry Igwebike. The hunger protests which rocked the country, especially the northern part, from last Thursday appears to have lost steam following the police crackdown on the organizers and protesters, many of whom had been detained. Some of the hashtag and bad governors of protest leaders have also gone on the ground and switched off their phones as the Department of State Services took custody of seven Polish nationals arrested for waving Russian flags during the demonstration in Kano on Tuesday. DSX spokesman Peter Afonanya confirmed the arrests on Wednesday while explaining that the action was part of routine security enforcement rather than a targeted effort against Polish nationals. Former local government chairman in River State on Wednesday accused the governor Simon Alaye Fubara of sponsoring the Tuesday attack by protesters on the Port Hackett house of his predecessor, Yesam Wiki, while warning that Fubara did not have the monopoly of violence, the XLG chairman threatened to mobilize their men to equally unleash an attack on Fubara's properties. Amid the nationwide hunger protest, the demonstrators had on Tuesday marched to Wiki's property along Adder George Road in Port Harcourt and laid siege to it, chanting war songs and calling the ex-governor unprintable names. It took the presence and vigilance of policemen to resist the protesters who attempted to invade the mansion. President Bola Ahmed Tinibu has disclosed that the country spends 2 trillion naira monthly to import petrol and diesel. Tinubu stated this during his recent nationwide broadcast to Nigerians. According to the president, despite Nigeria's abundant oil and gas resources, his administration met a country that was dependent only on oil, neglecting its gas resources while subsidizing the cost of fuel. He reiterated that his administration will be distributing 1 million CNG kits of extremely low or no cost to commercial vehicle owners, transporting people, and goods who currently consume 80% of the imported petrol and diesel. Now to our foreign news. Several Arab countries are encouraging Iran to exercise restraint in responding to the assassination of Hamas political leader Ismail Haniyeh in Tehran last week as fears of an unpredictable regional war expand. The diplomatic blitz led by countries allied with the United States came as the Biden administration was trying to lower tension in the Middle East and renew efforts to achieve a ceasefire in Gaza. But the diplomacy also reflected concerns among some Arab countries of being dragged into a major conflict that could destabilize the economies and undermine their security. It's about the time we have for our news update today. Please do well to visit our website at enterprisetvnews.com and also like, comment respectfully and follow us on all our social media platforms at Enterprise TV7. I am Henry Igwebike. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Enterprise TV, a tradition of truth.